Hello and welcome to another tutorial for ArtRage Studio Pro. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how to use the ArtRage script files. All right, uh, it's a new feature added into the 3.5 version of Studio and Studio Pro. Uh, basically, what they are is a recording of the screen processes as a person paints, and a user can download that file and watch that uh, file play out for them as if the person was drawing for them right in front of them. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to discuss how to download those, use them, and uh, how to create some for yourself. Okay, so to begin I'm going to show you how to record a script file. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and open our age. And for those of you who don't know yet, uh, this is the easiest way to find the script folder. Alright, so if you don't know where it is, what you can do is go up to Tools, select User Content, and then select Open Scripts Folder. Alright, so here's the folder where any script that you record is going to be put in. Okay, by default, ArtRage goes to this folder. Uh, so I suggest any scripts that you may download that you put into this same folder. Alright, uh, and what you can do is go ahead and click up there and just copy it. Right click and copy that if you wanted. Alright, so that's the folder and how to find it. Okay, so we want to record a script. So what we're going to do is go over here and select File, and then select Record Script. And it brings up our Record Script panel. Now if you were uh, previously drawing on your canvas, and you wanted to include that drawing uh, to work on in the recording, you would want to check mark this uh, option for us. Okay, It says Include Current Painting. Uh, in this case, I haven't drawn anything, so I don't need to check mark that. And I can just go ahead and start recording. So I click record and you can see I'm back at the canvas and this new panel is opened which I keep up in my left corner here. Okay, so this is the recorder panel and it is telling me that I'm recording. Okay, so anything I do here it's keeping track of. Any uh, paint I put on or undo, it's recording. Uh, and we'll play back in the playback. All right. So I can opt to pause it. Okay, so if I pause here I can go and get a soda or something and come back uh, and the program itself won't know the difference. Okay, to unpause that you just click it again. You can see it'll tell you it's recording again. Uh, these other features here I'm going to get to as I draw something. Okay, so uh, to start what I'm going to do is just bring up a stencil. Okay, here's my stencil. Okay, now let's say I wanted to tell the uh, viewers who are going to be playing the script back uh, something about that stencil. I could opt to add a note. If I click on that, my recording pauses, and I get this panel here, okay, which I can drag around. Uh, and I can also change the pointer to wherever I want. Okay, And I could just put this over the stencil, have it point to it, and I could say I'm going to fill this stencil to make my smiley face. Okay. If I click the check mark, that'll take effect. Now what's going to happen during playback is the recording will pause, or rather the playback will pause, and it'll prompt to the user that uh, that note I just typed in. And they'll have to OK it before the script will begin to play again. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and select my yellow and my fill tool and fill that stencil in. Okay, uh, and what I'm going to do is add a tip now. Okay, so I'm going to click on tip, and again you'll see that my recording is paused while I uh, go ahead and take care of this tip box. And again I can choose to move that, that pointer around and put this box wherever I want. Now tips are different from notes in that the user doesn't get to define how long that note stays on screen. Okay. In this case, once it's there, it'll stay there until we dismiss it during our recording process. All right, so I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to say I'm going to remove this stencil, and then I'm going to draw my eyes. Okay, so right now, 
that note is taking place and is being recorded. Okay, and you can see that the recorder is telling us that this is recording. All right, and over here on the box where I put that tip, it's telling me click to dismiss. So when I click on that, that's when it's going to remove it. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do what it's saying I was going to do, which is remove this stencil. In this case, I'm just going to hide it. Okay, because I don't know, I might use it again later. Uh, I'm going to select my ink pen, select black, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my eyes. Okay, and I'm going to click to dismiss. So I've just removed that note. So it stayed there while I did what I told it I was going to do. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the spotlight. Okay, so let's add a spotlight to this. As you can see, once I click it, it puts a little spotlight on our screen here. Again, the program is paused. It's not recording this process. What I'm going to do is highlight this area at the lower end of the face. I'm going to check mark it, and now it's recording again. But that spotlight has remained. What I can do is add another note. I'm going to say, this is where I'm going to draw my smile and check mark it. Okay, so that's taken place. And again, because it's a note, it's going to pause at that point during playback. It's going to tell the user what I just typed in there, and the user is going to have to OK it before it'll disappear. They'll get the idea because I'm spotlighting this area that that's where I'm going to draw the smiley face, or the smile for the smiley face rather. Okay, so I just drew the smile. I can now close the spotlight by going over to the panel here and clicking close. Okay, and away the spotlight went. And that's it. I'm now done. Uh, but before I click stop here, what I want to do is save this because I'm going to need a banner for my recording script. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the recorder panel and I'm going to pause our recording. And that means it's not recording anything I do to our painting right now. All right, it's paused it. Uh, and that's going to allow me to make some changes here for the banner, uh, which I'm going to save for the recording itself for this image. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is go up to edit and I want to want to crop and expand the canvas. And now the banner size I have already set as a preset banner. And if I go ahead and click that, I'll be able to edit this, okay? So as you can see, it cropped it. Uh, unfortunately, it's cropped my image. So I'm going to undo that real quick. I'm going to copy this layer. I found this is a lot easier to do when uh, As you see, uh, when the aspect gets too big, it'll give you a warning here. All right, the preview doesn't work in this case. So when that happens, what I do is I copy whatever I'm going to do. And then I can hide it and just paste it in there and uh, edit it, the uh, edit the paste however I want into there. So I'm going to go ahead and move this around. Just put it in here. Uh, I'm going to type in smile face. Okay, so this is going to be my banner. Nothing fancy in this case. I'm going to export that as a PNG. Smile face banner. Okay, so that's in my RH files. Now at this point, I'm going to undo everything I just did. Back to where I had uh, stopped my recording. Okay, so here I am. Right back where I was uh, before I paused my recording. I'm going to unpause the recording, and then I'm going to click Stop. At this point, it's prompting me to save my script. And this is where I'm going to use the banner I just created. It says Preview Image, 400 by 80. If I click there, I can go ahead and load my image. Okay, there it is, Smile Face Banner. Okay, there it went, put it right in there. Uh, I can name the script. I'm going to call it Smile Face. Uh, author is whoever makes it. In this case, someone's saying. Uh, script description. I make a smile face. Okay. 
that's all I have to do. If I click OK, it'll bring up that script uh, folder where it's going to default to, as I said before. As you can see, since I gave it a title, it's putting that automatically into my file name, Smileface Art Rich Script. So I'm going to save. And there it is. I've just saved my recording. Okay, and as you can see, the recording panel has now stopped recording because it's red. It means it's not uh, no longer recording and it's not paused. It's stopped. I can close that panel out at this point. Okay, so now that we have our script recorded, uh, we can opt to play that back. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and save this painting just in case. Smile face painting. Okay, so if I go to File, I can now select Play Script. And as you see, within that script folder, I now have my Smile Face Outrage script. If I go ahead and select it and click Open, it'll give me the Play Script window. And as you can see, my banner is up at the top. That's the one I made and saved. It's called Smile Face. Uh, basically, everything I put in there is in there. Uh, however, I do have two options available to me. I can either choose to accelerate the playback or change the size of the uh, playback script. Okay, So if I want it larger, I could go ahead and set that or smaller. Okay? Uh, I'm just going to play it at its original size. And in this case, I'm not going to accelerate the playback so that you can see all the notes and everything I put in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on play. As you can see, it's going ahead and making those squiggle marks I did at the beginning to show you uh, and explain to you that it was recording. All right, and there's a stencil, and there's our first note. As you can see, the script has stopped at 62% uh, complete, and it's paused. Okay, and you'll note it says it's a waiting input. Okay, and it's waiting for me to say continue. And as you can see, the note does say I'm going to fill this stencil to make my smile face. So if I go ahead and click that, you'll see that it's begun playing again. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and wait, and there you can see it's given us our note, but it's still playing. You'll note over here, it's still going. Okay, it says I'm going to remove this stencil, and then I'm going to draw my eyes. Alright, so it's still playing. It's going ahead and doing its thing. Okay, and away that stencil went, and again, here came the note. Okay, it says this is where I'm going to draw my smile. Okay, once I click continue, you'll notice that that spotlight has been there. It's going to draw that uh, smile I put in there, and then the spotlight will remove itself. Okay, and that's it. It was complete, and there it is recreated for us again. Okay, so that's how you play back a script.